Hi, I'm Stuart from Innersalt and today we're going to look at the touchscreen functionality of the ETA boilers. The ETA boiler range um, have all got a common user interface, so they all work in the same way, but today we're going to look at the PU boiler. So this is the uh, home screen of the boiler, uh, with, the first uh, with a picture of the, of the boiler on there and the on-off button uh, and so on. Um, the user controls are all along the top of the screen and you'll notice there's a number of different buttons and the one in this case that says radiator uh, is the one we're going to look at and that shows our heating circuits in the property. You'll notice there's a, a number of um, graphics on the screen there. Uh, the one on the left hand side there shows you the temperature in the property at the moment. Um, this property is fitted with a ETA uh, room thermostat which enables um, us to alter the temperature in the room using the up and down arrows. If I click on the up arrow, you can see that I can change the temperature. So if I want the room to be at 23 degrees, I can just alter it on the screen of the boiler. And you'll notice that the heating's come on to warm the property up. Um, there's a timer function on the um, boiler as well. You notice the clock in green there, which means that the timer function has been activated. Um, to set the time, slots for the heating to come on and off we just click on the time bar on the bottom of the screen and you'll see from this screen that we have a seven day timer so we can set different slots for temperature and time for every day of the week three different slots for each day of the week um, or we can set them all to the same uh, time slots if we wish um, and the way we do this is um, we choose one day at the moment we've, we've chosen Wednesday and if we click on time slot 1, you'll see that uh, at the moment it's set to come on at 6 o'clock, go off at 9 o'clock, and in between those two times the target temperature is 22 degrees. We can uh, change the start time by clicking on the, the window, using the delete button there to change the time, and then I can put in, for example, um, 0500, 5 o'clock in the morning, and then change the, uh, the off time to perhaps um, 0800 and then the target temperature again by click, clicking on the, uh, the, the, the text box there I could change that to uh, for example 23 degrees and then I can accept that so now we've changed the time slot 1 to 5 o'clock in the morning to start and 8 o'clock in the morning to finish and to go at 23 degrees. If we click on time slot 2, again we can change the settings on that. At the moment it's, uh, it's uh, setting back to 19 degrees between 11 o'clock in the morning and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We can accept that. And then the third time slot is from uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon to 11 o'clock at night and again the temperature is going to be 23 degrees in the property. So what we can do um, now with this, we can, uh, we can set this uh, for each day of the week by clicking on the different days in this way or from the, uh, if we want to copy this time slot onto every day of the week or selected day of the week, so we just click on the copy button and then we can either select the days of the week that we wish or we can set that for all days of the week and that pattern of, of heating on and off will, will be copied uh, for all seven days. We'll close the, uh, close the timer function off now and you can see that whilst we're in timer mode um, we've got a few other options. Um, if we suddenly decide we're going to leave the house and we want to turn the heating off if we just press this button here what it does is it turns the, uh, the heating off, um, so it cancels out the heating program that's running at the moment and it'll go to the next uh, off time and stay off until we come back into the house. Or if we come back uh, unexpectedly and the heating's off, if we press the other button there, the button on the right hand side, that will turn the temperature, uh, turn the heating back on for us so that the, uh, the, 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 the building warms up nice and quickly. Uh, another function that we have on the, the heating circuit screen is the holiday mode and if we press on the holiday mode we can actually set the dates 
um, when we go on holiday and sets uh, and also set the date when we come back so the heating will go back to normal when we when we come back so again same as the, with the timer function we can set the date that we're going to go on holiday so we'll say 24th uh, and then we're going to come back on the 30th and we'll accept those dates so between those dates um, the heating will set back onto the setback mode so that's the area when there isn't a time slot so if we go back into here you'll remember that when we um, weren't having any heating on during the day or the setback mode uh, it was 19 degrees so the heating will stay at 19 degrees from the 24th of December through to the 30th of December and then it will come back on to the, the normal pattern that we've set uh, on, the, on, the, on the timer. Thanks for watching and look out for more how-to videos on the InnerSol website.